Okay, dokily do. Welcome back to the next one on one session in tow for you. Just returned from my break here. Mutiko is asking for a leader one on one, so I'm going to go in there. We're going to set this back up. He went to go have a deathmatch while I was away, so let's head in here and see if we can set up. Oh, never mind. He already has a deathmatch lobby going. I suppose if he feels he wants to get in some practice, he's entitled to it. So wishing the best of luck, and then I'm going to leave for now and join another lobby. Meanwhile, in another lobby, uh, Mauricio Elite had joined through me. I managed to meet the individual called uh, Jason Madunkar that Cybertron and Denver were talking about that plays WFC and the Xbox 360 version. For both Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And it was right, he does seem like a formidable opponent, however, I only have the time today for the one or two matches, so I have to use him wisely and then just message this guy and set up an appointment for another time. I'm aware that he does have a mic, so it'll make communications much easier if I want to try to talk to him. In addition, with Mauricio getting ready to head out for this afternoon, this makes my affairs and my one-on-ones here much easier, so I don't have to worry about accidentally being in the way and all that stuff. I left Evo Bullets in Jason Madenkar's lobby in order to go set up my own. Meanwhile, Sean, Nadir, Nabby, and Flint Hart had joined our game. And I won't blame them for that, it's early in the afternoon. I'm going to set up the match accordingly. He wanted it to be streets, and so streets is what we shall have. Leader one-on-one -on -one to the outfittings that he wanted. No war cry, no magma frag. Those I can do. That means I pretty much will not be using Bolts Prime setup. <clears throat> I will not be using the Bolts Prime setup, I mean to say. Well, I gave the heads up a couple of weeks in advance for when LSC wanted to set the date, so... Eh, it is what it is, but it's alright. There's always another time. story short, it was pretty much just playing catch-up the whole time. Team Deathmatch was the one that we mainly had in the bag from the get-go. Thanks to Mutico here. I will say though that the Capture the Flag event did start out pretty well in our favor. So starting that out without the medic and then going in and continuing it with the medic was pretty good. 
very risky, but it was a pretty good strategy. Alright, we're set to go. Fusion cry for the win. Good, 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 good. Oh, the barrier trick. Just like what Starkiller was using. Vehicle mode is not bad. And he's timing the use of that shield back and forth at the right moments. Pretty good. I really don't like fighting people that use the shield, but I can admire at least that he's using it at the right time and not trying to. <sighs> well, I mean, yeah, hide behind it, yes, but using it in order to ricochet some of the damage off of him. <clears throat> to keep some of the damage off. Good fake out. Oh, Sean. Uh, worry about that later.
jump away from the position? Are you serious? Wait a minute, no he didn't. He just destroyed my bomb. Bingo. Some what in the hell? I oh, I am going to call it a draw for now until he can hopefully reconnect back in. It's not exactly the way I was hoping to end the match, but I guess it's a way to end the match. Now, before I do leave out, let me leave my message.